Hello there, Gemini. How are you? Gemini, my name is Antoine, and welcome to your love messages for the end of June 2022. These messages will roughly cover from the 20th through the 30th for all placements of Gemini, as well as the Gemini lover, if you're in the house tonight. Well, let's go ahead and get into your messages, Gemini. You Please excuse my voice, you all. I am still under the weather a little bit, but we're going to press on. We're going to pull from the Golden uh, uh, golden Twin Flame Oracle, and then we'll clarify using the Tarot. Messages for Gemini. End of June 2022. Love, romance, and relationships. Right, passion, and then electric touch. Ooh. <laughs> Gemini, somebody has that pull on you, I feel, right? Maybe you have to pull on someone, okay? There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of desire, okay? Gemini, there's, the, there's an energy here of, like, being, you know, being able to be, like, you know, on demand or on command. You know what I'm saying? And this is not about, you know, you relinquishing your autonomy or anything, or giving up complete control or anything like that. Like, I don't feel that. It's just, you know, if somebody wants you, they can have you and they know what to do to get you. <laughs> but I also feel that that's vice versa, okay? Or it could be flipped. Because when you guys do come together, it's a lot of hot, burning, sweet love that I see. Now, this can always, of course, be across, you know, whatever stage of relationship you're in, including if you're single. Because if you're single, then this could mean that you're just, you know, you're, you may be about to meet this person. And when you do meet this person, it'll be like an instant, you know, just an instant feeling, an instant flash and tingle, you know, down in the, <laughs> down in your, um, in your sacral chakra, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, um, this electromagnetic pull, right, that you guys will have towards one another. Okay, so, wow, 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 wow. Big energy, I like this for sure. Um, of now, of course, if you feel like you cannot relate to this message before I move on, I will go ahead and just you know, simply thank you for your time. I really do appreciate you being here. For those of you who are ready to move forward, then let's go ahead and go. So let's clarify what's going on with this passion and electric touch energy, Gemini, because <laughs> it's a lot of good action going on right here. <laughs> Gemini, let's see. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands at the base, okay? We have the Magician. We have the Judgment. Mm, all right. And then we have the lovers. Okay, Gemini, let me tell you what I feel here. The, uh, it's like the strongest message that's coming through for me is, how can I explain it? Um, spirit is, okay, so spirit basically is saying here with like this 10 of wands and this judgment card, spirit wants you to, um, Okay, spirit wants to wants you to take the burden out of putting yourself in, like you know, putting yourself out there. For many of you, it feels like putting yourself out there is quite difficult for you. But with the magician cards, you want to do it. Okay, I feel like there's probably no shortage of options coming towards you here with the judgment card, <laughs> but with the lover's energy, you just kind of have to make that particular you know choice. All right. Um, you know, there is a better match of the options if, you know, you have options. And if you feel like this is 
probably, if you feel like this is the only option, that I, I will tell you that I don't think that it is. However, I do think that maybe this is the strongest option that's making itself manifest for you. Okay, this is like the strongest pull that you're feeling towards one, per, one person in particular, especially if you're single. Okay, if you're more established in a relationship, then I definitely feel like spirit is telling you like, okay, before you maybe give up, try to figure out a way if you can like maybe restore some of this passion. You know what I mean? Maybe try to get back in tune with why y'all chose to be together in the first place, all right? Because there was a lot of passion here together. So before you make a final judgment or a final decision um, about maybe walking away or walking from something or putting something down, you know, um, remember this is something that you manifested, okay? And it's something that you chose. And, you know, the energy, um, the energy never lies, you know? So let's go ahead and pull and see what's under the deck. Ooh, the Nine of Swords. Okay. So why is the Nine of Swords under there, Gemini? What's, what are you worried about? What are you stressed about? Have you been sleeping? I don't know if you've been sleeping, Gemini. Hmm. For many of you, I, I think that for some of you, it's like you feel as though, like I was talking about this burden before, if you feel like there's a burden in love or if you, if you feel like this situation is a burden for you, and then I definitely can't understand why it's been really, really, you know, taxing on your mental, okay? I just feel like there's like, it's like a, a there's a, a fear here. There's a fear here. It's like you're afraid to go towards the passion. If this is like somebody that you haven't like established yourself with yet. You know what I mean? Like if you're still single, it feels like you're afraid to go towards the passion. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going. Because that not you really have uh, I want that nine of uh, that nine of swords there is it's, you, you're in your head about something Gemini, but I don't know what it really could be yet because all of this energy here seems quite positive for the most part. Let's go ahead and clarify some more. What's going on here between the judgment and the magician? Okay, we have the king of wands. Okay, so that fire energy, there's that passion energy right there. Gemini, you might be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but they have a very commanding presence, okay? When you're around them, you can't help but feel drawn in to them. Their gaze draws you in. You understand? Um, <laughs> not, it's like before they even touch you, it's like you feel the pull of them. And then when they do touch you, it's just like this an eruption of energy, okay? That's what I feel here. It's, just something about that person. Again, fire sign energy represented here as well with the magician. So what's going on between the magician and the ten of wands? Let's see. Okay, so we have the empress. All right. Okay. So, okay, spirit is telling me that, like, you know, part of the energies that you've been feeling with this person here is that, like, or that you will feel with this person here is, like, um... You know, they kind of get your biological clock ticking. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm not saying that, like, you know, you're thinking about having kids or, you know, or anything like that. You could be. But what it does feel is just like it just makes your, this person makes your biology. <laughs> I can't think of the word. <laughs> this person just does something to your biology in a way to where it just makes you want to just expand and grow with them. You understand what I'm saying? And that could be by kids or, you know, just any other any other way of expansion. Okay. What's going on here between this ten of wands here and this lover's energy? We got the nine of cups. Ooh. Now remember we did have the nine of swords, but now here we have the nine of cups. I think that ultimately, overall, whoever this person is, you feel really, really drawn to them. Again, um, 
you feel like you can have success with this person. You feel like things can be easy with this person. You feel like you can put a burden down when you're with this person. Okay? those That's for if you're single or established or whatever. Okay? Now, um, now, for those of you who may be feeling like maybe the passion or the electric touch is kind of fizzling out, I do feel like it can be found again. Okay? But it is going to take cooperation on both parts okay both people are gonna really have to want it so let's go ahead and clarify between the judgment and the lovers gemini let's see so the judgment and the lovers we have the page of pentacles Ooh. Ooh. okay gemini i see a really special gift coming forward towards you okay um the gift will take the form of like a very small investment also this could even be some sort of proposition. This could be a proposition of marriage. This could be a proposition of any type of advancement moving forward in a relationship. Oh, we're going, we're going to go from go, just going together to, you know, um, moving in together. Okay, well, maybe we'll go from moving together to actually being, you know, in a, in, in a, in a, in a, in a real, you know, marriage. You know what I mean? So I just feel like this speaks to some sort of proposition, some sort of gift question that comes with the proposition you know what i mean like advancement expansion okay because the passion is there the passion is here you know what i'm saying like this person is definitely makes you excited okay and this is a person that you can definitely see yourself with for a very very long time Gemini, I really like this energy, y'all. And I'm gonna see what's going on in the tower. So this person is completely different than anybody that you've ever experienced before. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Okay. And this person is here to really shake things up. Okay. And I feel like you love that. I feel like you love that they bring this new fresh energy towards you. Okay. Maybe for some of you, you've been needing that new fresh energy brightness you know you've been needing that for a while some of you okay you know gemini this message is quite it's quite lovely it's quite good actually because overall you know it has it has everything that i want to see in a relationship okay i want to see sex i want to see passion i want to see love i want to see you know coming together meeting each other together i want to see progression i want to see satisfaction you know what i'm saying i want to see ease like you know when it's not too difficult you know what i mean like I, I see that you know like i said this person is completely different which may be even why you're drawn to them in the first place but also they're here to kind of shake things up for you gemini because maybe you haven't had relationships in the past where you've had any passion or attraction or at least not this to this degree <laughs> you know what i mean this part, oh, the King of Wands. This person, you know, this person is great husband material, great father material. Okay. Or just, you know, they're, 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 I mean, I, and, I, and it didn't have to be um, the gender role there, but I'm just saying, just based off the card I see, this person is definitely great, like other parent material. And, you know, I mean, you may be found it out soon enough um, <laughs> with the Empress there, so. I'm going to go ahead and let the message go, Gemini. This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Happy for you, for sure. Let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. Thank you so much for your time and your support and uh, your positivity. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, Gemini, then go ahead and do that. I'm here every day on the channel to provide you with daily energies as well as giving you love advice every 10 days. So, Gemini, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.